covered CMR basketball probably in the last 20 years definitely knows the name Josh Hustis, who now is trying to make his way back into the NBA after a stint with the Oklahoma City Thunder. He's now being remembered physically in the halls of the school. In the CMR Skybridge, connecting the field house to the main gym hangs a mural of Hustis, created by 2004 CMR grad and football standout Ryan Bagley. CMR head boys basketball coach John Sislow had originally wanted a portrait of the Hall of Fame coaches from CMR's past back in 2019, but Bagley had other plans. He wanted a coach's mural or whatever for the field house, and I was like, all right, that's cool, but I'm going to do Josh first. And he kind of laughed. And this was like, you know, 2019. So I, we had this in, a, in the works for a long time. With what Houston has meant to the basketball community in Montana, having been one of the few kids to have played in the NBA, for Houston, the significance is not lost on him. To now, like, know that, you know, a painting of me, a mural of me is going up in that same building is, is an amazing honor. And, um, you know, I, I'm pretty, pretty proud to, to be able to know that I left my legacy there. Even before the mural, Bagley and Hustis had mutual admiration for each other growing up, as both were CMR standouts. I remember being, you know, young and watching Ryan Bagley play for CMR mm -hmm. and thinking, like, you know, those guys were the coolest people on the planet just watching, you know, these high school football players and felt like they were celebrities, you know what I mean? And Ryan was one of those because he was so talented. And then, you know, I got a chance to meet him a little bit later and we became friends and... Boom, he reached out to me. He's like, man, I, I used to look up to you and when I was in elementary, and I'll never forget that. But um, that was super cool. Bagley currently resides in Portland, Oregon, as he continues turning out portraits for his business, RB3 Designs, while Hustis is trying to make his way back into the NBA through a new contract with the G League Cleveland Charge. Here in Great Falls, I'm Dylan Foreman, MTN Sports.